whole new world. Reboot, rewind, a whole new world? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and this is project three? Nine. Nine? Okay, this is project nine, which is inspire your audience. Persuade. Persuade. Okay, great. Persuade. Okay. Reboot, rewind. <laughs> Hold on, hold on one second, hold on one second. So I'm, I'm trying to juggle the timer here, so let me reset. Okay. By a show of hands, who here is a health nut or has been called one by friends? By a show of hands, who knows a health nut? Very nice. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, I've been accused of being a health nut by my friends when they decide to go to Wendy's and they see me order a side salad. I would say prior to my reboot, I had about 80% a very clean diet. After the reboot, at least 90%. What is a reboot, you might say? Who here has ever heard of the documentary Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead? Glad to hear, two people. I'll tell you a bit about it. This man, Joe Cross, from Australia, he was a wee bit fat, quite sick, and some might say nearly dead. He had the skin condition that was an autoimmune disorder that caused him to have rashes and he needed to be on prednisone, which some of you may know, pretty heavy duty drug. And he ate kind of whatever he wanted at one point in the video, he goes into a pizza shop and he says that he would have two of those, not two slices, two whole pizzas. Now this guy wasn't that big, but his stomach must have been quite stretched out. So he decides to come to the US and for 60 days, consume nothing but juice made out of vegetables and fruit in the proportion of 80% vegetables and 20% fruit. The fruit kind of just covers over the vegetable taste, gives it a little bit of sweetness, but makes it palatable. And as some might know, if you take out the fiber, the sugar would elevate if you had a pure fruit juice. So having the vegetables in there gives you all kinds of nutrients, helps your body recharge, rejuvenate. So not only does he lose weight, I mean, that's kind of expected. He's kind of, you know, he's on a juice fast. Which actually, now that I just think of it, it took him through Thanksgiving. He held up a green juice and said, this is my Thanksgiving meal. So it's very appropriate for this time. But he lost pretty much all the weight he needed to lose. But more importantly, he got off his medication, this heavy duty medication that he had been on for years. And his skin condition cleared up. He began exercising and he was healthy. So they now run reboots that are guided by a nutritionist. Actually, the nutritionist I had for mine was in the movie, which was very exciting. It felt like we were dealing with a celebrity. <laughs> so I want to tell you some of the benefits that I've gotten from doing this reboot. Energy is one. I still have sleepy days, sure, but the amount of energy and clarity that has come is significant. Now, I always liked vegetables. I know some people are kind of wishy-washy. I thought you needed olive oil or some kind of fat to make them okay. But really, it's all about the spices. And I learned about roasting vegetables too. I used to just see them in the freezer and you put them in the microwave, big whoop, kind of plain, whatever. Nothing terrible, but nothing great. But if you get the right spice combination, it is deliciousness. And roasting vegetables produces all these different flavors that I never knew. Have any of you ever had caramelized onions? Mm -hmm. They're good, aren't they? I don't care for raw onions so much, but caramelized, it, it just changes it somehow. So roasting vegetables, usually around 400 degrees, between 40 minutes to an hour, depending on what type of vegetable. A harder vegetable usually needs more time. You can use foil to wrap it in, or you can have it bare, depending. I like to use a convection oven, that helps things. But I just, I cannot tell you how wonderful it has been to learn about these new vegetables. Now, portobello mushrooms, perhaps you've seen at the restaurant as an appetizer. They're delicious, that's, that's the only way I knew how to have portobellos. You know, stuffed with seafood, 
with some cream sauce. Real healthy, but real tasty. Turns out, vegans and vegetarians love portobellos because they make a great meat substitute in a burger. Yeah, yeah, you know, for if you gotta get rid of your meat, that's a guess okay. Little did I know, if you season them right, you would not know the difference. And I'll tell you, after you eat it, your digestive system isn't telling you to take a nap. It's not saying, oh, I have so much work to do now. It's saying, ah, oh, that, that feels rather, rather pleasant. Thank you. So get some portobellos, get some vegetables, season them, roast them, and you will experience a whole new world, new sensations for your taste buds. Roast those vegetables. You'll have so much energy. The flavors you will adore. What are you waiting for? Right on Toastmaster. <laughs>